Hey everyone, Trolling Prophet here, and we're about to do something really special. I've been getting a lot of people asking how to use the FMP menu, so here it is, Project FMP, fmp.su. Go there, get it, make sure you tell them I sent you, and you won't regret it. So, let's start off with the lightings menu. You don't have to use this. I like it. I'm a content creator. I like when my colors pop and my image is bright. I usually use the farm lighting. Not always, but it's a really nice lighting to use. Um, sometimes I'll use like the Bad Ham Preschool lighting, which I think is called England. I will use that sometimes on the cold wind or different maps that give different looks. to do. It, it makes it look like a whole new map. Anyway, I like this one. It's got the golden hue. It's not always perfect for every map, but generally speaking, it's a really nice lighting effect, and I I choose it often. And I get a lot of comments on my videos saying, how does your game look so awesome? So if you want to look awesome, if you want your game to look awesome like mine, go ahead and use these lightings, but you're never going to be me. So anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm going to go on to, uh, let's go into open settings, right? I personally prefer the FOV the way it actually is in game. I don't like my FOV adjusted kind of throws me off, makes things look weird. I guess if you're used to it and you want to stretch it out, go for it. But I like to turn this off. I don't want to go. Sometimes I do play legit and I don't want to go into a legit game and then I'm back to normal FOV and it's then I'm not used to that because I got used to some wider FOV. Anyway, I turn it off. Um, Let's see, so all this stuff, this boost, jump boost, jump boost, action speed, speed value, this is all stuff you can customize. I really don't even mess with this. Once again, I like my settings to be normal to the game because I don't want to feel like I'm running faster and jumping faster while I'm cheesing and then I go to play a normal game and I don't have those powers and all of a sudden I, I, I feel slow and... I just I like to keep things consistent. Now, if I'm messing around, I might do something with that with these kinds of things. But I think in order to have these working, I believe you need to put risky mode on, and I don't put risky mode on for the most part. This is your skill check size. Uh, it's maxed out at 80, so you'll get giant skill check um, parameters where you can't miss them. And this works for um, I believe on Merciless Storm, you actually have to hit the skill checks. Okay, so hit cd value i'm not exactly sure what this is i might know and have forgotten but i'm going to skip that for now like i said i don't know everything i'm going to show you the basics did i say i don't know everything well i'm saying it now i don't know everything i'm still somewhat new to this myself but i'm showing you the basics right this is all your like aura reading over here the miscellaneous so you want to see survivors you want to see the killer through walls your esp um hooks i i generally take off hooks because i don't know i generally let's see we got chest i take off chest i don't need to see where the chests are if you have all this stuff on you're gonna see esp for everything and for me that gets annoying i don't like all that stuff on my screen to look at it's just too much i just like to see the important things so i take off chests hooks um this is the exit gates i believe reveal escape uh, generators. I take off generators too. I don't want to see all all the generators on the map. Um, let's see. Hatch. Traps. Like, let's say you're going against Trapper. Vaults are the, the, the windows and things like that. I guess we could leave that on. Reveal lockers. I don't see any need to, to show lockers. It's just more, more of an eyesore to have all these um, wall hacks on. So I take that off. Totems. Sure, why not? Especially if they have hex totems, you want to see those. Uh, reveal items. I I'm guessing these are like med kits and things that are on the floor. I don't need to see that. I took that off. Uh, character text, if you want to see people's names. Sure. Generator text is going to show you like the generator progress. Let's say you're at like, let's say it's at 50%. It'll tell you that. Like I said, I don't like a whole bunch of stuff to look at. So I take off a lot of things that I don't think are completely necessary um totem text is good because you're gonna see if they have like devour hope or something like that it'll tell you which totem it is uh so hatch text uh i just leave that on because obviously there's only one hatch in the game so it does it's not a big deal auto dead hard and head on i don't use this stuff but apparently this is your auto head on section if you want to sit there and head on the killer for three hours non-stop 
go for it. I don't really mess with that that much. I might do it for sake of making content, but uh, it's not really my style to sit there and bully the killers like that. They'd have to really deserve it. So for me, I'd probably, if I wanted to, I'd put this on. You actually have to bring the head on perk. Um, I don't know how the auto dead hard works, but anyway, I would say like the killer would really have to do something that deserves it. Uh, no intro is going to skip your intro when you load into a game. Like, uh, when it plays a little animation of loading into a game, I guess you would skip that. I leave that on. Like I said, I want things to just feel as natural to the game as, as much as possible for being a dirty, slimy cheater. Okay. So you got your key binds here that tell you what to do, right? Uh, I'm used to different key binds, so I go ahead and, and adjust these somewhat. So one good one to remember, should I say a good one to remember is F2. You will instantly escape the match. Uh, but I, in order for this to happen, you need to be in the end game collapse. So it's not always going to work, but let's say you're thrown on a hook and you're in the end game and you hit F2, then you should automatically escape even while you're on the hook. If you're slugged and you can't get up for some reason, end game collapse is going on. Hit F2, escape, you know? It's a uh, it's very good button to get used to having or knowing where it is if you want to escape. All right, so caps lock is fly mode, like no clip. It, it makes you just zoom through the map. I think it's really fun uh, just to go through walls. <laughs> Generally speaking, <laughs> killers chasing you around a main building and you just hit caps lock and you go right through the wall. You turn a corner, go through a wall. They don't know where you went. Um, I don't mess with Q toggle flying. I, I tried that and I wasn't sure what it did. I think it just left me stuck in the air. I didn't see why it was practical and, and I just didn't have any purpose for it. Um, let's see. Z teleport to survivor. I changed this key. I'm not used to it being Z. G teleport to killer. Uh, some of these I changed. So is jump I changed that to V so let's just go through these show you what they are what they're set on instead of going through every one let's just move forward and set things up so next we're gonna go to our loadout right so if you want to have your your perks and add-ons and all that what you want to do is you want to enable it by this by checking this little thing here and now what I'm gonna do is my general setup is I tend to use hyper focus, so I'm going to type in hyper, if I could spell that properly in the dark, hyper, and then I'm going to hit enter. I don't know if I have to hit enter. I just go to, actually, I go to um, selected perks right here. That's not it. I'm sorry. I go to perks down here and change, and it gives me hyper focus because it's the only one that matches what I type. So I put hyper focus, right? I click add the perk, right? I'm not 100% sure what the fill slots is. I Actually, I, I'm not any percent sure because I don't know what that is. And I'd be lying if I said I did. But I think I'm going to check it just because maybe it'll make things work. Uh, if anybody knows what that means, go ahead, put it in the comments below. Let me know what I'm missing out on. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm, I'm on Survivor right here. I'm going to switch to Killer. And I'm also going to add Hyper Focus. Now, the reason is I don't really use the cheese while I'm playing killer, so it doesn't matter what I have set up for it. But I believe in order to make this work, could be wrong once again, I believe in order to make this work, you need to fill out everything. So I'm just gonna put the same perks that I put for my survivor on my killer, even though I'm not gonna play killer. So if you were gonna play killer, then go ahead and set up your perks for your killer, but I'm not playing killer with cheese for the most part. So I'm just gonna duplicate it because it's easier for me to do this faster. So next perk I normally run is distortion and I'll tell you why. Now you could put head on here if you want to do that stuff or a perk of your choice, but I like to run distortion because while I'm flying all over the map and doing things I'm not supposed to be doing, I would like to increase my probability that the killer's not going to see my aura when they have aura reading perks. So for me, I just having distortion on will hide my aura a lot more. Now, if it's a scratch mirror Myers and he's got constant aura reading or a pig with Amanda's letter, like, okay, it's not going to really help, but 
like I said, I just like to hide my aura so I can teleport and do things without the killer happening to see it. So I put, let's see if I add perk. I do have it here. This will show me what I have. I just added distortion. I'm gonna switch back to survivor, add the perk. So it says count two over here. I have two perks. Next perk, uh, I'm gonna do buckle up and for the people. So I'm just gonna type buckle. I'm going to hit buckle up, add the perk, switch to, ki to killer, add the perk. I'm going to type in for the, and then I'm going to pick the perk, add the perk, switch to survivor, add the perk. I have four perks now. I'm going to go to an offering. Uh, offering, I'm going to type in terror because the tiramisu gives you the most blood points. I don't care about blood points, but I'm doing this for the people that I play with. I'm going to switch once again. Unfortunately, I have to type it again. Or does it stay? I'm on killer. Uh, it stays. Never mind. It stays. I guess it stays. So I'm on survivor and killer. It's there. Like I said, I'm doing this for people who want to play with me so they get blood points. All right. Item and power. I'm going to go to survivor and my item is going to be a med kit. So I'm going to type med in here. And then I'm going to go to... I like the masquerade med kit because it does the confetti when you heal. And uh, so I'm going to switch and I'm going to put the med. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm on killer, but I'm just going to stay consistent. Like I said, I don't use killer. Sorry, I don't use cheese with killer, so I don't care what I'm putting on my killer. I'm just trying to do this quickly. The way to do it quickly is to put the same as survivor. All right. So my add-ons, I generally would run um, surgical. What is it? Suture ST. Or SUT, type in there and you will get um, surgical suture, right? Now I'm going to add that. I'm going to switch to killer, add it again. I have one add on, so all I'm missing is one add on. I used to run needle, right? I used to run the needle, but from what I understand, you could stack the same thing. I used to run needle and thread with surgical suture, but so somebody uh, told me that you can stack two of the same. So I'm going to try that. And I'm going to hit add, uh, add add on and see if that works. Surgical suture add. All right. It's not giving it to me. So, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I just want to do quantity here. There I put two. And uh, now I can add it. Okay switch to survivor to all right I, i'm gonna guess that this works because i don't know somebody told me it works so we're gonna find out i have enable checked on here i have fill slots checked like i said i don't know exactly what that is but hopefully it works all right <clears throat> unfortunately there's no way to really check here because it doesn't show me my perks here it doesn't show me my med kit here so i don't really know if i'm gonna have perks when i enter the game or med kit but we'll see so Next thing is, I'm just going to switch to uh, my gorgeous Kate here, and we're just going to dress her up, give her, uh, let's say, the Iron Maiden shirt with about some black leather pants. Kate looks good at anything, but for her head, we're just going to break a cosmetic and use Attack on Titans cosmetic because it looks nice uh so the, the rest of the people in the game are not going to see me like this if i wear this because i have a broken cosmetic but i'll see it and my stream will see it um on that note i think i'm just going to give her like i don't know like a rock star look or I'll give her a like a little black hat that matches this outfit something like that right and then we can put on a charm of course we're going to want to use something that we're not supposed to have right we'll slap a twitch streamer charm on there there you go so you could put whatever cosmetic you want you should have everything you should have all characters um for killer and survivor so let's move on to what is next open utility this is going to show you when you get in the game the killer their perks uh your, your survivors and stuff so let's say i'm gonna go down here and i want my prestige to be 100 so i'm gonna put in 100 and i'm gonna check prestige 
I'm not going to put on risky mode. That is a hundred percent ban. Uh, you're you're most likely going to get banned anyway. But I'm going to keep that off. I accidentally just checked it, so maybe I'm in trouble. But uh, let's see. Console command, right? Over here, what I'm going to put is this console command. It is r dot color c o l o r dot mid m i d space one. Or you could put like point seven five. Might be a little less obnoxious you hit execute and i just brightened up my image so i just made my screen look nice and bright so that's up to you if you want to put that i like to do it let's say you're um in dredges uh you know the dredges nightfall and you want to be able to see better and you pop this up to like three right it's going to be incredibly bright but let's say you wanted to see a nightfall and did something like that. Uh, for me, I just like to leave it at either about 1 or 0.75. 1 looks pretty good right now. Some maps, some areas it might look a little too bright. So find that happy middle ground that you like, right? So the fill bots apparently are nothing down here on the right. They're just for custom lobbies. I don't know what they do. Got our lighting. We got our... Uh, our stuff over here oh another thing you could change here is in the utility this is the utility menu right what we can change is esp style and i'm going to put my font size at like let's say 22 to make things just more readable on the screen because otherwise they'll be very small now over here you can change your esp your wall hacks for different colors for different things I don't think they're ideal the way that they are because like survivors apparently are yellow and certain things like that vaults yellow they're all gonna blend in with like other things you'll see when you get in game some people like to change this i kind of got used to it i'm not gonna mess with it for now but you're free to set up your different colors for whatever you want here uh, i'm not gonna bother with this for the moment that is an option though all right, so where are we at now? Now comes the part that is going to be very customizable and to your liking, which is remapping the key binds, right? So we have instant escape F2. We have the no fly caps lock. And this is just showing you the same stuff that's over here that's showing you. But over here in the remap key binds, you can change them, right? So I'm going to change add wiggle. The add wiggle is for when you want to wiggle out of the killer's grasp. Uh, it's like having decisive strike, except for it's just you wiggle out. So I am going to change this add wiggle to the key bind F because F is right where my finger is. And if I got to wiggle out, I go down or someone else, I got to wiggle out. I just want to be able to move my pointer finger right off D one key to the right and just tap the F button. I don't want to reach over to what was it N somewhere else. So I like to use F for the ad wiggle. Now keep this in mind if you want to heal someone else that's down from across the map, you can hold shift. And uh, well, that's not going to be F that's going to be your med kit. But for for applying things to your teammates, you have to hold shift when you do it. So for instance, if I'm wiggling myself out, I'm going to rapidly tap F over and over until I wiggle out. Now, you can also wiggle out before you get picked up. Like when you get down, you start tapping F really fast immediately. And when you get picked up, you're just automatically going to break out. One thing that's really good about FMP over other cheese programs uh, there are many things, but here's one of them you just want to note is that you can actually wiggle while you're in the killer's grasp. With other cheese programs, you can't do that. You actually have to do it before. And if you fail to do it before, you're getting hooked. But with FMP, you can wiggle out while you're on the killer's shoulder. So that is an amazing feature that no one else seemingly has. So if you wanted to wiggle out a teammate, you would hold shift and rapidly tap the F to wiggle out. This is an important one to know is the F, right? All right. Force med kit is going to be a similar thing. It's going to be able to get you off the floor when you are down. 
It's also going to be make you be able to heal other people from across the map. I, once again, I'm just used to this being at on L. So for sake of c consistency and not changing things for me, I'm going to put it on L. Uh, L is very close to P, but either way, I'm just used to it being on L. You might want to have this somewhere closer or some, or leave it on P, whatever you want to do. I'm going to put it on L because that's just what I'm used to. I don't want to have to retrain my brain to think of new things that I'm not used to. All right. So let's see. We have you as interrupt everyone. <clears throat> what this is going to do is make it so survivors cannot touch generators. They can't vault anything. They can't open gates like any action they're trying to do. You have stopped it. So <clears throat> if you want to be a troll and get your teammates killed while they're in chase, you hit you. They're not going to be able to vault anything. If you want to trap them in the game, hit you. They're not going to be able to open gates. To my knowledge, that's how it works. Um, be careful, though, because if you accidentally have this on and you don't realize you have it on, nobody's going to be able to do anything and you won't know why unless you realize that this is on. So be careful about accidentally hitting it. Force animation. This is just going to make you do whatever animation you have selected. I'm going to show you that later. That's on why it can stay there. Autoplay. Here's something you also want to watch out for. Autoplay. Right now it's set on H. Um, I might just disable this, honestly. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to take my number pad off. Actually, I just messed up. I'm going to take my number pad off and click on it and hit mm, number five in order to make it empty. Because I don't accidentally want to hit this. You might want to put this on. I don't want to because I had one game where this was accidentally hit and it was turned on autoplay. I was literally stuck the entire match and I couldn't do anything and I didn't realize why. So if the computer starts playing for you. I couldn't control my character. I was bugged out. I was stuck. I thought the whole thing was freezing on me. I, I didn't know what to do. Finally, somebody told me, um, check your autoplay. You might have this on. So it took me like a whole game and a half before I realized that this was on. So once again, if your character just starts doing weird things without your permission, check your autoplay. I just turned this to empty because I don't want to accidentally hit it. All right. Instant sacrifice. I've never used this. It's key bind I. Uh, I guess it's just going to automatically kill your your uh, whoever's on the hook, your teammate, if you want to kill them. Maybe they're on foot first hook and you hit I and you kill them. I'm assuming that works. I've actually never tried it yet. Aimbot. This sounds like it would obviously be for killer. Once again, I don't play with cheese on killer, but you would use left alt and it's going to automatically aim you on your target. I might, I might experiment with it just for fun. Like, uh, you know, auto hatchets on the huntress or something like that. But generally speaking, I don't play killer with uh, cheese. I like to play killer legit. Okay, spawn trails. Why do I not know what this is? I can't think of what this is off the top of my head. Maybe we'll try it in game. Trap immunity. So you, if you want to be immune to the trapper's traps, let's say. Um, all right, let's go on. No black bars. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Maybe this has to do with the intro and you see the black bars above the top and the bottom of the screen. I don't I don't really know exactly what this is. Um, toggle roll is going to switch your add-ons on the bottom to see the killer's add-ons. So the only time I find this to be useful is if you're playing against like a Sadako, Sadako, Onryo, um, the TV girl. And you want to find her TVs, you can press B and switch to her role. See the add-ons 
and see where her TVs are. So that's the only time I find this useful for the most part. Auto moonwalk. That is X. I'm going to change this to my uh, mouse, my thumb button on my mouse, my mouse thumb button too. So if I want to moonwalk, I just uh, hold my mouse button with my thumb and start moonwalking. It seems easier than having to hold an extra key or something like that. So we got toggle speed hack, right? Um, toggle speed hack. This is going to be when you, uh, you're, it's going to be like a little sprint burst. Um, it's going to give you a little speed boost, right? I put this on it's, I leave it where it's at middle mouse button. So I just press the middle mouse button. If I want to zip forward and uh, maybe miss, you know, dodge a swing from the killer. It's kind of like a old dead hard where you just zip forward, give yourself a little speed boost. You could also, let's say you want to get to one side of the map really quick. You could just keep tapping it and you'll just kind of zip over there in increments. All right. All right, here's some other stuff I changed. Teleport, right? This whole row here, teleport to hatch, teleport to escape, teleport to generator, teleport to hex totem, right? I like to change these. I'm used to them being different. So, um, I have hatch. Hatch can stay to the left. So these are your little arrow keys. Hatch can stay left. Teleport to escape actually can stay down because to me, it makes sense that if I'm going to leave, I want to head down to the escape and I want to escape down out the gate, right? So just think you're getting out of there and you're going down, you're going downtown. So leave your teleport to escape down, or that's what I do. Change it to whatever you want, right? Now, teleport to generator, I like to have this on up. So that tells me like, hey, we're going up. We're going uptown to work on that generator. We're going to go up to the generator and we're going to finish it. And then when we're done going up to the generator and working on it, we're going to go up to the next generator and we're going to work on it. And when we got all the gens done, we're going to go down to the exit gate and get out of here. That's how I like to think of it. Pretty silly, but it works. Um, Teleport to Survivor. This one I like to have on right, right arrow. So I just remember if I want to go to a Survivor, I'm going to hit the right arrow. Now, another great feature that's uh, FMP only as far as I know is that all you have to do is look at the Survivor you want to teleport to. You face in their direction. Tap the right arrow and boom, you are there. No other cheese that I know of does that. You have to go through all these long procedures like opening up a map and selecting the person and hitting the button to go to them or going into free cam mode and traveling there and then teleporting there. No, with FMP, with FMP, you just look at where you, who you want to go to. You look at that survivor and you tap that key, whatever it is. Mine's the right arrow. So for me, I'm not going to reach my left hand to the right arrow. So I just take a, you know, for half a second, one second, I just take my hand off the mouse, tap the right arrow, hand back on the mouse. Same with all these other teleports. Like I said, I want to go to the gen, I tap up. I want to go to the gate. I want to be out of here. I tap down. Now, another great feature. Let's, let's go on about these great features. When you teleport down, when you hit the down button, teleport to the escape gate, you are inside the gate. So killer can't get you unless it's a nurse, but what you could do is if you're in chase or you're slugged and you're about to die or you're in trouble and you just want to get to safety, tap that down arrow and you will be inside the gate safe from being killed at that very moment. It's a great, like, it's a great way to escape a uh, a problem, a troublesome time, uh, you know, when you're in danger and you have a close encounter, you brush up against death, you get the idea. Hit that down button. You're inside the gate. Then you go ahead and hit the button with your med kit, like I have L, and you start healing yourself inside the gate. 
So I like to call it my personal safe space where I can no longer be attacked. It's another great feature. You go inside the gate. No other cheese that I'm aware of does that. The other ones teleport you to the gate, but you're on the outside of the gate. With FMP, you are in the gate. You are in your personal safe space, free from harm. Okay, next, let's see. Teleport to Hex Totem. This one, you know, you could put this whatever you want. I don't really use it. Because if I'm gonna go, I, I, if I'm gonna go to a hex, I just, I guess I could just make my way there, or whatever the case is. I don't use it that much. It could be good if you want to set it to something. But right now I have up to generator, down to gate, left to hatch, which is another way. Like I said, um, instant escape. If the hatch is open, and you just tap that left arrow, you are on the hatch. Or even if the hatch is not open, I believe if you tap that left arrow or whatever you have it set to you will be in the location of where the hatch will open up so i believe having a teleport to the hatch is more important than having a teleport to totems but you do have this key here if you want to set the totem uh teleporting you can do that but for me i'm using up down left right and i, I already have those taken so I'm just not going to put anything for Hex Totem. It's not that important to me, at least not now. Maybe one day it'll be more practical. Jump. I'm going to put this to V. I'm just used to it. So I'm going to put that on V. And while we are on jump, I'm going to close this and go over to my jump boost. And I'm going to put this up to about, oh, I don't want it that high. Probably like maybe a thousand in that ballpark maybe 700 900 maybe 1200 but roughly in the thousand area because i feel like that's a decent that's a good jump height like let's say you want to get on a roof or something probably in the, i'm going to try with 800 for now and see how that works right um hit cd value like i said i'm not exactly sure what that is this might be like this might be hitboxes, altering hitboxes. I don't really know. It's probably something I'm not thinking of off the top of my head, obviously, but maybe I know what it is and forgot. But um, all right, so we have all this stuff. I think we checked everything off here. Fly boost. Uh, I don't really know exactly what that is either. But I don't really use this stuff. Like I said, I'm not in risky mode. Um, the jump does work when you're not in risky mode. So uh, I'm at a thousand. Let's see that. Let's see if that's not too high. All right, moving on. Let's go back to the remap keys. Okay. We have this, we have this, uh, the toggle flying. I think I'm just going to set this to nothing as well. I don't want to accidentally, sometimes I use Q. So we'll just leave that alone. I don't want to mess with it. I'll take it off. Uh, untrap, hit, con uh, instant. Uh, I guess it's to untrap yourself. Um, I'm not sure what hit and instant are. I really don't know what this is here. I haven't used it. So once again, if anybody knows what this does, this might be a, this might be a killer thing. But uh, go ahead and let me know in comments if you know. Teleport to killer. I don't use this much, but it could be fun. Actually, I do kind of use this. I would put this on, well, you could leave it on G. I used to have it on T, but uh, actually I think I like G better because um, you got to keep in mind where your keys are to be able to reach them. And also that you don't want to accidentally hit something else while you're reaching for a certain key. So if I'm reaching for T, I might hit r and what happens when you hit r you drop your med kit so next thing you know you for, you don't realize but you, you you put your med kit down and you needed that now you go down and you can't get up because you don't have your med kit so it's probably probably best to leave this on um on g right do i have t for anything no so i don't have to reach over to t so i'm less likely to hit r if that makes sense so i'm going to leave that alone on g uh, jump is V. 
we got this, we got the generator, we got the hex, or we, we left the hex empty. Um, let's see, client teleport character, client teleport, okay. This is a feature where it lets you see the killer right in front of your face. Now I have V on jump, so I'm gonna change this, right? I'm just gonna put this to something that I'm really not gonna use very often. So right next to M, little comma, I'm gonna put it there. Cause the only time I'm really ever gonna use this, at least for practical purposes, is when I'm going against a ghost face. Once again, it's another feature that FMP has that other software doesn't have. This, if you're going against a ghost face, you could be sitting on a gen, hold your comma button or whatever button you put it on. You will actually see the killer appear before you, just like the doctor's mirages when you see the doctor appear in front of you, right? So you will see the killer there. And if it's a ghost face, you can actually reveal him. So in other words, this ghost face can never go into stealth mode the entire game as long as you want to press that button and constantly reveal him, taking him out of his power. So it's a, it's a funny way to troll the ghost face. Um, other than that, I don't see a practical purpose for it aside from if you just want to catch glimpses of the killer while you're sitting on a gen and do something silly, right? Just watch the killer. All right, I think we're pretty good with all these buttons and they should be set. Um, so you'll have some other things like, let's say we have um, home is gonna be a camera mode, not much to do. I think it just puts an aerial camera mode if you wanna look at things from a different angle for whatever reason, not sure why that would be practical. And is going to remove effects I actually forgot what this does, but I know that it has to do with, I think, doing uh, maybe your infinite head-on stuff or something of that nature. I know there's a reason for it. I just can't think of what it is, unfortunately. If you guys know, go ahead, put it in the comments. There's a lot of stuff here, and I'm fairly new to this, at least. Uh, uh, I'm, yeah, whatever. I'm fairly new to it. But I've caught on to a lot of the basics and all the important stuff. I'm telling you all the important stuff. There's definitely more to it. Um, I don't know everything. Instant hatchets, uh, if you're hat huntress, useful modifiers. This, I believe, needs to be turned on, F9. So let's see if we can turn this on by pressing F9. And look, it goes on. Once again, another great feature in FMP is that I could start turning on these things right here in the menu. I've used other hacking software, cheesing software that does not allow you it doesn't not ugh, does not allow you to do this. Sorry. Oh, my mouth is getting dry. So a little sip of that honey water and uh, we're moving on. So and other programs, you actually have to turn these things on while you're in-game. Doesn't let you do it in the menu. Another great feature, FMP only. FMP is the best. If you haven't picked up on this, let me just say it. FMP is the best. It really just is. Um, they just it, The functionality of it is amazing. Um, the interface is great. And I don't have all the problems that I would have trying to get into games and, and get the program, get the, the menu working, everything. I just click a button, I load in. You have your um, unlocker and your trainer all combined into one. So once again, other lesser uh, reliable softwares will make you open up an unlocker separately and then you find out the unlocker is outdated so you have to download a zip file and you have to open it up and then you have to go through a process and then you run the unlocker then you got to clear your your this button and your save files and blah 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 and it's such a headache and by the time you even get in the game it's like you've wasted an hour or three hours in the it, trying to get the program working it's, it's ridiculous it's redundant it's unreliable it's in uh, unstable and it, it's um you just want something that works so instead of throwing your money down the drain you might as well get something that actually functions uh, it's probably even cheaper to get FMP. Uh, the only downside is you've got to go through like Bitcoin. You can't just use um, 
I guess I don't think you can use PayPal, but you know what? It's worth it in the end. And then once you get the, with these other programs, once you get the unlocker working, now you got to get the trainer working and then you, your game crashes and then you got to open it up and you got to do it all over again. You find out the trainer has been updated every day and you got to go download another zip file and open it up and then get it on and then you get crashed and then you got to open up the unlocker again and blah, blah, blah. If you don't get the picture, it's redundant. It's boring. It, it's just you know what? Let's just say what it is. It's trash compared to this. This is a wonderful, right? Everything's easy. Log in, click of a button, no problem, right? So I'm going to put on my useful modifiers on. Magic aim is for your auto aim. Like I said, I don't really play killer with cheese, so I'm going to leave it alone. You could put it on with F10. Uh, I forget what spawn trails. Oh, I know what spawn trails is. I remember it's just, you show your scratch marks. You see your scratch marks. Okay, if you want to see your scratch marks, go ahead and spawn your trails. Uh, sometimes I accidentally hit that and it goes on and I forget to take it off and I see my scratch marks everywhere. I don't think it makes a difference. If you want to see your scratch marks, you see them. That's what it is. Now I remember. You don't have to put in the comments because I figured it out. Okay, trap immunity, we got blah, blah, blah. Okay, none, autoplay. We want to keep that off, like I said. Um, thumb mouse, auto, uh, that's my auto moonwalk. Untrap stuff, okay. TP2 lament box. I never really use that, but... Um, I guess if you uh, if you're playing against Pinhead, um, let's see. So toggle fast actions. That's number key seven. I believe that's. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not gonna say I know. Okay, auto wiggle on. I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna turn this on. Right. You want to put this on your auto wiggle. Most likely you're gonna want that on. Uh, F1 is going to toggle free cam. Okay, so if you want to go look around, um, let's say you're on a gen and you just want to see what's happening somewhere else, you can hit F1 and free cam to look uh, at the killer chasing somebody or something like that. Unfortunately, right now, if you do this while you're on a gen, you don't gain the gen progress at the moment. Something's buggy with that where it doesn't give you the gen progress when you do this. So be careful with that. Hopefully they update that and, and make it actually give you the gen progress. I don't think that's a huge deal, but it's one downside to using the free cam. I think if like if you're healing yourself and you free cam over to somewhere, you're not going to continue to heal, I believe. So just be careful with that. You might not gain progress if you think you're sitting on a gen and going and watching somewhere else. Um, I don't use free cam that much every once in a while for whatever reason, if you want to go exploring uh, and looking at things, watching a chase. All right. Force animation can stay as uh, as Y, force interaction. Um, I'll tell you about force animation later. Um, force interaction. I'm not 100% what that is right now. My mind's drawing a blank. I once knew, I'll know again. Um, fixed movement. This is a very important one. Insert. Uh, I leave it on insert. And what this does is if you ever get stuck or bugged out, something freezes. Sometimes you teleport to a gen and you actually get like put in some stuff that's around the gen, like hit boxes or a wall or something, or it's a two stories and you get stuck in the wall. You can try to unstick yourself from things that are bugging out by pressing insert. Another way you could try to unstick yourself from walls is by pressing caps lock to try to move through the wall. But insert, you're going to want to know this because you're going to sometimes get stuck. This will fix you and unbreak you out of your, uh, your frozen position. This happens quite often depending on um, what you're doing. And it's normal. It happens with all the uh, cheesing software. You could set this to whatever you want. I used to be used to having this as escape, but I think escape does something else. I don't want to mess it up. So I just got used to using insert. Just get used to insert or change it to whatever you want. When you change things, you just got to remind yourself or remember or be aware of the fact that you might be putting it on a key that does something else. And now you're interfering with another thing. So, so I don't change too many keys. I just change ones that I'm very used to. All right. Still looking around. This is going to be the gist of everything for now. 
And actually, let's go into a game and just see how we put things to use. I think that's it. We have um, force. We have the auto wiggle on. Um, I don't know about auto skill checks. I believe they will be on useful modifiers is probably what's going to turn on your auto skill check and other features. So as long as you have that on. All right, let's go in and just hit play and we'll just go into a game and see what we can do with this menu and how things will practically be used. That is 45 minutes spent really breaking down the menu piece by piece. And it's all the main things that you'll need to know. I know it's long and tedious, but I wanted to go over everything. See, my brightness is a little too bright now. So I'm going to drop this down to like 0.75 maybe and execute. And we are good to go. I'm going to unhide the other players names. And hopefully I have my med kit and my, uh, my, my perks, hopefully. Now, in the meantime, here you are, fmp.su. Make sure you tell them Trolling Prophet sent you. Uh, what we see down here at the bottom is the killer's perks, territorial imperative, none, none, none. He's got really nothing, no offerings, no items, just one perk. Uh, it says it's a huntress right here. Tells you their, their ping, their everything. Uh, if you open utility, you can see they're on Steam. The killer is a Steam player. You have these other players here. You see PS5, Xbox. Uh, this person's on Steam. And um, you can go to perks. Uh, you can check that in game if you forget and see where their perks are. So let's actually go into a game and see how things get put to use. I'll try to touch on as many features as possible. This video is already long enough. So we'll just do one game to do an example of all the things we can do. Assuming I do have my med kit and my perks. I hope I do. And we'll find out very soon. Mm -hmm. Got my med kit, right? Got uh, F3, F4. Okay. So in order to get in my menus, a good thing you want to know F4 is going to pull up my menu, right? All right. So um, I'm not sure what F3. Okay. F3 is going to pull up my. I don't want to mess with this in game. I don't want to do something that's going to crash it. Remember, F2 is my auto escape, right? Oh, all right. I see everybody. All right. I'm going to pop in and give this guy for the people with. Uh, we zoom in. Oh, wait, something's not working. He did, he must be holding a button because I couldn't. Um... All right, so I go down. I'm going to start tapping F. I, I think he was moving or healing. He didn't let me pick him up. He's brainless. I was going to pick him up. All right, so I'm pressing. Let's hold shift and press a bunch of wiggle. No, it didn't work. All right, let's see if I got my wiggle. I'm at baby MMR, so they're just kind of throwing the game right now. All right, but let's say I want to go to the gate, all right? I'm safe in the gate. I pressed arrow down, right? I'm going to press L. I'm going to pick myself up, okay? I can't rely on my team for any of this. I got to do it myself. Now, you got to be careful with skill checks. If you reach 95, you can't get yourself up. All right. See, I just got up from the dying state. Another great thing about FMP, other uh, cheesing software does not show you when you get up from the dying state. It still shows you in the dying state. It's like buggy. I could see that I'm up from the dying state. Now I have to press insert to stop myself from healing. Unfortunately, I'm locked at 95% heal. So what I'm going to do, because the skill, it's based on skill checks. I'm going to look at Bill down there, right? All right. First of all, I'm going to look at, wait a minute. Did he, oh, he just jumped off of something. I thought he just teleported. All right, I'm gonna. She's going to Bill. So instead, I'm gonna look at Alan over here. And press my right button, and we're gonna rescue him. Boom. He's good. I'm gonna head over to Dwight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Huh, gotta do it all. See, I'm gonna zip over with my my middle mouse button for my little speed boost. Save him right in front of her face. Run this way, and go around this corner, and go right through the wall with caps lock. Boom. I'm gone. Right. She's this way. I'm going to go right through this wall. Boom. I'm gone again. 
All right, I'm gonna zip off by tapping the middle mouse button. I'm in my, uh, I'm going to a, a better place, right? This is how you use these key binds, right? Oh, I just healed myself with a regular right mouse. So I was able to heal myself because I still had full med kit. So you gotta do it yourself, right? All right, so let's say, let's just check out, um, all right, let's see. So let's say I press F5. That's gonna go back to the killer or the, the perks and stuff. And let's say I hit perks right here. It's gonna show me the killer's perks. Like I said, they only have one. All right, so what is F6? F6 is my key binds if I wanna change something in game like we already set up before, right? F7, I believe, was the modifiers that I wanna keep on. I'm sorry, never mind. F7 is server side animation. So let's say I want to put on uh, escape through the hatch, right? And then I hit save. And then this is a client side animations. Okay, so O is going to cause them to do things, I believe. So let's say like, uh, I don't know what we can do. These are client side animations and these are server side animations. So this is stuff that they can see server sided and these are things that only i could see so they're animations and stuff i don't want to bother with that but let's just say i come out of this i press f7 to get out and um i press y all of a sudden i jump through the imaginary hatch that's not there right anyway i'm gonna come out with uh and i'm gonna all right i came out with um insert all right so we're gonna move along Someone's on hook. We're gonna have to uh, save them. I just showed her my hacks, but I don't care. She's gonna quit now. Yeah, she's gonna quit. So I can teleport to the killer. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna zip away. I'm gonna hit down arrow, I'm in the gate. And if I wanted to save my teammate, I had to do that right in front of her face because nobody else was saving them. I'm at potato MMR. And you know, Super Kate's got to do everything. So we're in here picking ourselves up. Nobody's even done a gen. I mean, look how inefficient these babies are. All right, so I'm, I'm healing up. I pressed L to do that. Huntress knows what's up. She's in the know. She's been made aware. I'm going to hit insert to end my heal. Just go right through the gate with caps lock. Gates don't stop us. Oh, let's say we want to go to a gen. Tap up and I'm at a gen with my friends over here, right? potato squad all right dwight is in no she's quitting i believe all right let's stop her from coming in here i know we threw god palette but who cares all right we're gonna do a basement houdini which we're gonna run to the basement right and uh she's probably gonna follow us down here thinking she has us trapped yep and we're gonna hit v it didn't work i'm gonna hit right right arrow sorry did my v not work why did my v work maybe i didn't press the right button all right let's say hit v okay yeah i didn't press the right button all right so b b is going to show me her you know her hatchets in the bottom left corner not practical but like i said for sadako it would be so we just did a little um makeshift uh basement houdini let's say i want to heal her right i'm going to hold shift and press l and i'm healing uh alan no i'm sorry i'm probably healing somebody that's injured all right so i'm gonna hold shift i'm gonna exit out with insert hold shift and keep pressing f and they wiggled out all right we wiggled them out she's she's not happy this huntress says she may quit very soon all right we just zip through doors we just go through doors that are closed no biggie and um where were we back on a gen right tap up we're back on a gen so you want to be efficient you get used to the key binds and you just do the magical things that you need to do right so dwight is on death hook he's injured um what we could try to do is let's hold shift and press l and we're going to heal somebody that is that is injured I'm not exactly sure who we're healing. I think it was Bill. All right, we're gonna wiggle. We're gonna wiggle her out here. Yep. All right, she gets wiggled out. 
I every time you got to get out of an animation, like I was healing him, I pressed um, insert to get out of the animation. And then I press, I'm holding shift and I'm pressing F. Oh, she's, she happened to be right under a hook. Okay, so your teammates, you can't save them if they're right under a hook because you need time to wiggle them out. Um, so if they're going to go down right under a hook, they, they're in trouble. I'm going to look at them, press the right arrow key, and I am here to save them. Okay, see how easy that is? And I'm going to zip away with my middle mouse button. Or I can hold my caps lock. It, it's kind of stuttery. But it, it zips me off as I'm holding caps lock and I'm just speeding away. You could change that speed. I'm not sure exactly which speed that is. Action speed? No, that would be like vaulting. Um, anyway, I'm fine with it being where it's at for now. Like I said, when you get used to using everything the way you want to, you can explore and experiment more and figure out what you want to do. All right. This team, look at this, we got two gens done. All right, I healed myself. I'm just gonna go to a generator, press up. Oh, she's down. I need to get in there and do something. I'm gonna get over here. Stop crawling, stop crawling for the people and they're up. They're probably just gonna go right back down again anyway. So I gotta jump in the way. I still gotta jump in the way because this is a potato. All right, I can't do anything. All I can do is wiggle them out if they are, um, I got to mend. They're right by a hook. I don't think I can save them, but I'm going to spam, spam, spam. Yep. I got them out just in time, but they're standing they're, they're too close to the hook. All right. Huntress is on me. I'm just going to throw a palace, zip away. I, actually, I should get her to chase me more, because... I still need to mend. Get under the pallet, Dodo! Oh my goodness, why? Uh... Alright, I'm gonna wiggle him. Wiggle, 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 wiggle! Oh, I call this Operation Saving Potatoes right here. I gotta mend. Mend, she's gonna swing at me. I got a mend. She's going after Alan. Bro, get out of here. Go do a generator. You're crazy. Oh my goodness, man. All right, he's going to die. I got to wiggle him. Wiggle, 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 and he's out. I had to hold shift, tap F a whole bunch of times. I'm just going to go to the generator because my team doesn't know how to do that. Like I said, here's free cam. If I want a free cam away, I don't want to do that. He's right under a hook. I got to stand in front of the hook and spam F to get him out. Pick up this guy for the people. Look at, look at Kate. Look at Super Kate. She's literally everybody's hero. Doing it all. Doing everything. Potato squad over here. Like All they want to do is sit here and and get slugged by the Huntress. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to go do another gen on the other side of the map, and even Bill over here is doing nothing. I'm broken right now. Because I gave for the people. Like, Bill up there, Bill can go do a gen or something, you know? No, that'd be too easy when, when we're all over here getting slugged. These people are not even healing. I have buckle up, so if I can get them up. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm dead. No! <laughs> Just leave, bro. Leave. You've got buckle up. You have endurance. Go. Get out of here. Why do they keep running back to the killer? So terrible. We just go through walls. See, we just go through walls with caps lock. We get on a gen. We got to do everything. And this is how you use it, right? I I'm sorry, I can't show you everything right now because my entire thing right here is me just hold L, go to pick them up. I don't know if I'm picking them up or if I'm healing someone. I'm not exactly sure. 
But I, I can't really... I, I guess I am showing you. I'm showing you what you can do. Go, buddy. You got endurance. This is why. I, this is why I put on buckle up because every time I pick up my teammates, they get endurance. All right, I gotta press L. Reload my med kit. Heal myself. Dwight's about to go down again. But this, these, these are the cheats in action, right? I'm gonna zip over here. I'm gonna try to get her attention. He's down. Actually, let's see if I can heal him I don't know if I'm yeah I'm, I'm picking I could be healing Kate I'm not sure that's one thing I'm not sure about is when you hold when you hold shift and press L I don't know exactly who I'm healing uh, and I can't get him up or I can't finish the heal because uh, because I'm at like 95% right so I'm gonna try to heal myself myself is healed up I'm gonna have to zip in here and pick them up but they're not even healed up all the way. Like, they're not even recovered yet. This person's crouching around doing nothing. So I gotta come in here clutch and make a save, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the... Never mind. I'm gonna wiggle him. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it. Just a little bit. There you go. Be on your way. Run, buddy, run. Here. Let me, uh, let me give him... Oh, never mind. I can't give him for the people. Uh, I guess I'll just heal myself up. These people have probably never escaped a match before. They're going to escape their first match, but it's only because Super Kate's here. You better not be under a hook. Alright, so watch what we do, right? We come in here, and we get her attention over here, right? Let's see if we can get her attention. See if we can get her to come after us over here. And as she throws the hatchet. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't crawl to the hook, stupid. Don't crawl to the hook. I'm just gonna heal right here. Right next to her. All right, so we got to move forward. Caps lock, caps lock. Uh, middle mouse, middle mouse. All right, we're going to get back up with, with L. Oh, this person's about to die. This person's on the floor. I need to try to heal them or pick them up. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, they're dead. They're dying. I can't do it. Yeah, the thing is, there's only so much you can do for for people that can't play. You know, it's like you could spend the whole game trying to save them, but if they are insistent on dying, they're gonna die. <laughs> you know, it's like your powers are are great. But at the same time, they're limited. You spend the entire time, to, uh, entire time trying to save other people that don't know what they're doing. I mean, these gens could have been done like ten times already. It's just nobody's working on. Them. So I'm gonna press up, go to a gen, start working on it. If I press up right now, I'll go to a. Maybe not. I thought I would go to a different gen. Alright, so I'm going to press G when she comes after me. And G is going to teleport me behind her. Right? So let's say she swings at me. She's not paying attention to me, but let's say she swings at me and I just teleport behind her. Like, Alright, so I'm going to teleport to... Let me try to pick up this guy when he goes down. Here he goes. Just don't don't move. Get up. Ah, I feel like I failed because we um uh, we didn't save the one. But they they bled out. And you'll notice killers will do this a lot. Uh they will bleed out the people on the floor when you start wiggling them out. So 
You probably don't want to start showing your superpowers right away in the beginning of the match. A lot of killers will will quit. I can't get my heal fully off, so I'm going to look at Alan, teleport to him. I tap the right. It's Alan, but heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Heal me. Yeah. Can you heal me, please? Thank you. Oh, she didn't even finish. All right, I'm gonna teleport to this person. Can you heal me? I think I'm stuck at this healing point right now. I don't know, I'm kind of frozen at this, uh, like, 99% heal. Yeah, I can't heal myself. Alright, I'll, I'll go in front of him, take the hit, or... Never mind, he'll take the hit. I'll just, uh... Jump up here, that was V for jump. My jump might be too high, actually. So let me change my, I'm gonna press F4, change my jump to maybe like 800. And let's see if this works. If I were to come over here and hit jump. Yeah, see, now I'm a little lower. Oh, she's just gonna bleed him out just the same. So I'm gonna get on a gen. I don't think I can be healed. Alright, well, Bill's gonna bleed out. She's camping him just the same as she did the other one. So what I need to do is heal this person. And then I can stop him from bleeding out by... You can't heal me. Just do the gen. Do the gen. Do the gen. I can stop him from bleeding out. I think I can stop him from bleeding out. Right. You know, I kind of want her to down me, honestly, but not right now. I want to stop him trying to pick him up. I'm holding shift. I'm pressing L, so I'm working on picking him up. Now, right when he gets up, I'm going to press insert so he can run. So I'm going to look over on the left, and right when he pops up from the dying state, I'm going to press insert to cancel my heal so he can run. I don't think I can heal him. He's stuck at this... Um, and I'm also apparently stuck, not being able to heal. Okay, so I actually need to get hit. Or the only thing this is doing right here is this is stopping him from bleeding out, I believe. So the only way I'm going to be able to save him is to get in there. I don't know why this person isn't just doing the gen. Like this gen over here, is this gen not finished? With all this progress on it. And they went and... Uh, and they're doing a different gen somewhere. Am I crazy or is, that, is this gen complete over here? Or am I seeing things? Oh, why is he crawling to me? Don't crawl to me, stupid. Alright, we can try something fancy here. He's going under the pallet. I get it. Yes, perfect. Come under the pallet. Get under the pallet. Get under the pallet. Get to the other side of the pallet. He's oh, he's about to bleed out. He's dead. Oh no, you should have done that sooner, buddy. Well, whatever. We press down, we're inside the gate. We walk through the gate. This person could have, like, literally went in and taken a hit or something, but... Anyway, like I said, there's only so much you could do. For baby survivors you know I need to actually go down so I can heal myself I feel like if I go down I can have a better chance of getting healed she's going after that one
Alright, so now they're going to bleed out next. So what I'm going to do is just go to this gate and open it. Uh, they can start crawling here. They have enough time if they just crawl to this, this gate. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Alright, so I'm gonna get up here. They just need to crawl. But I, I needed to get hit. Hopefully, I can pick myself up. I don't know if I can. I might get stuck at 90. Alright, we're up. Let's see if we can heal. If we can heal, we can pop in there. You see how crazy this is? I mean, this is how you do things. I'm healed. I had to press uh, insert once again to end the heal, the heal off. But all right. Oh, okay. We get her attention over here. Right now, we just teleport here. Pick them up with for the people. Run out the gate! What are you doing? Why are you running the wrong way? Oh my goodness! All right, we could wiggle them out. Hold shift. Tap F a bunch. They wiggle out, run to the gate. Come on, you have another chance. Come to the gate, leave the gate. It's this way. Oh my goodness. I can't, like, I can't. It's like, it's like they want to die. Like, there's only so much I can do. All right, she's going to actually maybe get out in time. Hunter's going to pick her up. We're going to wiggle her out again. And run. Home free, run. Okay, never mind. She wants to die. She wants to die. Okay. I don't understand this. Yeah, I don't get it. Is she going to... I think she wants to die. I've done everything I could possibly do to save these people. Maybe I could have done more, but, I mean, how much more do you need me to do? I don't know what she's doing. I don't think she's gonna make it. She could have ran out the gate. I don't understand. I don't think you're gonna make it. There's not enough time. No, we die here. F2? F, uh, I didn't do it fast enough because I was trying to save her. I need to get off the gate and press F2 and I would have uh, I would have escaped. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Killer gets a 4K. And that's how you use the software. But, you know, even with all that, could you imagine? Like, could you imagine not even having that? It would have just been a 4K at 5 gens. Poor potatoes, man. They're just babies. Didn't know what they were doing. Killer only had one perk, too. Which was like nothing. Losing and cheating is crazy. I know, right? Wait till you get to higher MMR when survivors actually know how to play. I spelled all that wrong, but you get the point. This, this Huntress is probably so used to just dominating babies at this MMR. Either that or they're new too, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I showed you the gist of everything that you can do. Um, I'm sure there are things I left out that I can't think of off the top of my head, but that is, you know, those are the basics. And for a video that is long enough, that's an hour and 14 minutes. You should have all the basic knowledge for everything that you need to do in that video. Um, like I said, there's always more, but that is, you know, that's the bulk of it. Unfortunately, we weren't even able to save ourselves or save anyone. I could have saved myself, but I was trying so hard to save the, them that I literally died in the process of doing everything. I mean, like you, you watched it yourself. If you watched it yourself, I don't really have to explain anything, but, um, 
not every game's going to be like that, obviously, but these were just absolute babies. Uh, this is a brand new account, and that was my first Survivor game on the account, so I am actually at the lowest possible MMR, which would be 650, and that's, what's, that's what happens in low MMR. Killers dominate, and survivors don't have a clue about what they're doing. They don't know how to find generators. When they finally find a generator, they're too afraid to get on the generator. When they finally get on the generator, they can't hit skill checks. The killer has all the time in the world to just wipe them out. And like they said right there, cheating and still lose. Yep, that's that's what happens. All right, that should be enough for now. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you a game where we where we actually escape, but it really doesn't matter because we'll be escaping 99% of our games unless we choose to die or choose to die trying to help other people. And um, I could leave it at that, or maybe we'll just, you know what, before we've already gone on so long, we'll just do one more game. Why not, right? We'll make this like an hour and a half video because we're already here. And um, yeah, we'll do that. So we have a, um, a Legion. So everyone's going to be injured the entire game. They have no way out. Sloppy Butcher. I don't even know what Mindbreaker is. And Call of Brine. Uh, they have the iridescent button, so they're going to be breaking pallets when they vault. And uh, let me just see, what else did I not go over? Let's see. Uh, maybe jumping and flying, okay, that could help. Let's see, teleporting to survivors, we did. Teleporting to killer, we did. We just didn't do it in chases. Jumping, we did. V, um, speed hack was my mouse. That was my middle mouse button. Teleport to... Hexes, we didn't really do. Generator, we did. Uh, we took off hexes. Toggle roll, we showed that for a second. Um, instant sacrifice, we didn't mess with that. Uh, let's see. Instant ha um, modifiers is probably the uh, automatic skill checks. We've gone over most of everything. There's always going to be different situations where things can apply. But these are the essentials of cheesing with FMP. I feel like we've covered an incredible deal of stuff. So, an incredible amount of stuff. A great deal of things. Um, we'll give it one more game, because why not two? And this time we'll see if we can get a, a better result saving the potatoes. So we'll give it one more go. Uh, we'll try to maybe not tell you every single key I'm pressing this time. If you didn't figure them out by now or you set them up for yourself, but I, I'll just try to say like what I'm doing or you can see things in action. Maybe from trying to explain so much too, I was also distracted and not making the, the best decisions I could have made to save my team. So we'll try a little different approach this time. Less talking, more action. All right, we are in. Um, force, yeah, for, I don't know about force interaction stuff. All right, we pretty much got everything. Let's get out of this F4. Um, this F5. We can see the perks again, right? Let's close that. F6 is this. I believe F7 was the modifiers. Probably don't want to hit that. F8. I forgot what that was. All right, we're going to leave the F buttons alone. Legion's coming. We're going to go through here and just come around the wall. Just vanish to the gate. See? He missed us. We walk through the gate. No problem. Let's start. Let's start on a gen. Oh, here comes Legion. What do you know? We'll zip on out of here because we don't want to give him a bunch of chain hits and we'll start in another jet, right? Now you watch how I do everything myself here, right? He's coming this way. He's coming to me. Just going to zip a little speed boost on out of here. He probably sees my, uh, my... Get out of my way! You're blocking me! Goodness. He probably sees my, uh, killer instinct when he's chasing. I'm just going to come over here and get on a gen. 
this person's hiding like a scared baby. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna take the, why take the stairs when you could take the elevator? And uh, so she goes down, she didn't mend, so she fell out of the locker. So let's just, let's just go through the walls. And we'll have to come over here, save the little potato. Why is he standing there? I don't know. All right, come on, potato. Let me just give her a health state. Actually, you know what? It's probably not the best idea, but whatever. Let me give her a health state. Remember, run in circles. Come on. Let's get. Let's get to doing something here. Okay, so I could have Jen's. Wait, I do have Jen's showing. Why do I have Jen's showing? I thought I took that off. Generator text I took off. Why do I see the gens? Excuse me, stop. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I see the gens right now because I don't have gen auras on, but whatever. I'm not going to question it too much. I'm just going to do things, okay? Try to do things. Okay, gens I don't see anymore. So that's the reason I was seeing gens. It was related to a perk that someone else has, I believe. Is Michaela like hiding in the basement? Let's go to her. No, 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 no. Let me open it. Never mind. So, oh, that's another thing I can show you. Um, let's find a. You know what? Let's 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 hit F4, and we'll show reveal um chests, right? Reveal chests, and let's see if we can find a chest. Okay, there's a chest down here. So let's just zip through the walls. Uh, or, or through the sky or whatever. There's a chest down there, okay? Right? All right. So we're going to open a chest normally. <clears throat> oh, never mind. We're going to have to run from Legion. We'll give him some tea bags. Catch me if you can. We'll just go right through this. Like, I, I don't care. We're just going to openly cheese. Because I don't care about being banned, and I don't care about... Uh... Oh, here's another thing. So we, we press... Um, V and then caps lock. And we're gonna do these jumps. Wait, why is caps lock not doing anything for me? Oh, sorry, sorry. Maybe it's V and middle mouse. Oh no, I have like autoplay on. Something's been reset. See this? Where's autoplay? Autoplay is off. Okay, never mind. Let me press. Okay, I was a little stuck there. But I had autoplay on. So let's say V plus middle mouse, and then I can jump forward. That, that's a nice way to travel, right? Let's say I want to jump up here. I press V, and then and then tap the middle mouse to shoot myself down this way. Like he's all right. Well, he's become friendly, I guess. He's not killing anymore, so that's that. Or he just wants me. And we just teleport to our friends. And that's how you do it. And if you want to teleport back behind him, you teleport right behind him. Hi. And you go right through the gate. Hmm. Well, at least we get to we get to show things, right? What? Oh, okay, no, no, I'm, I'm seeing things. All right, let's check our skill checks. Our automatic skill checks. Automatic skill checks are on. He's coming for me. We're just gonna go like... Are they all teaming up with each other? So now we jump and we're back over here. And now we are back behind her. Hi, Julie. How are you? Can we just say, come on, this way, guys. Come on, let me just go right through the gate. We just go through the gate, and now we're behind you. Oh, they're trying to block? Let me just go right through them. No big deal. We just teleport to them. And then we teleport back behind her. And then we teleport to them. And then we teleport... Oh! 
Oh, got us. All right, we go to our safe space. Our safe space inside the exit gate. And we pick ourselves up. See how that works? Uh, back to the chest. And I am... Now I'm up. And I'm just going to come right through here and go right to this chest. And what is my action But Forced actions. That's what O is. All right. So O is going to do... Oh, I'll show you some other stuff. Maybe. As the chest gets to the end and open, I'm going to start tapping O now. I'm going to start tapping O, and all of a sudden, we're just going to make a bunch of items come out of this chest, right? Right? All right. So I'm tapping O a whole bunch. I'm going to bring them here. <laughs> They're trying to sandbag me. <laughs> They're trying to sandbag me. <laughs> I gotta mend. Billy really just wants me. I'm just gonna mend over here. So the killer's only going after me right now, right? So. We'll just uh, take the elevator. No big deal. Easy. Oh, that's right. Sloppy Butcher. I could just kind of go through the wall here. Take that route. All right, so back to this chest, right? All right, let's, let's go to her. Just go through the Yeah, check the check the box. She's trying to sandbag me. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, see, I'm glad we played another game so you can see all the funny things that we can do. Uh this isn't really a game, nobody's doing generators, but it's an example of all the things that we could do. So we have literally everyone, look, we're in a little hiding space. We have everyone against us right now. Like the whole team is against us. Um, all right, we can go to like this little area right here. Nobody can mess with us. Hi there. All right, so what I was going to show you is there's a bunch of, uh, this killer might quit now. <laughs> so we could change our jump height to go higher, but oh, there we go. I think I think this is a good jump height. What what was it on? Like eight hundred. Well, there you have it. So, teleport to a gen. See, here's what I'm talking about. You might get stuck when you teleport to a gen. Press caps lock and you just get out of that, right? Um, anything else to show you? Uh, there's nothing major. I don't think I showed you the chest. Um, if he if she Julie would hook someone. I could show you, like, getting them stuck on the hook, freezing them. Hatch is going to be right there, you see? It shows you the hatch. So let's say I were to press uh, left arrow, I would teleport to right where the hatch would be. You see it on the ground? It says hatch. So... Over here, remember if I were to take ESP style, let's say I want to make the text to like 30-ish. And you see how it's a lot bigger now where it says hatch. Oh, the gens are way, the their, their names are way bigger. I don't know if I like it that big. Um, v just drops me from the sky. V plus the middle mouse button. 
sends me all the way out of the map. And we're off to explore other realms. Um, my jump height is not exactly high enough. Now, there are like fly modes and stuff with risky mode. I just, um, I'm not really trying to use that stuff and get banned quicker than I'm already going to get banned. But let's say I want to get on the, the roof, you know? You know, there's places you can go. If you want to fly the moon, you can fly the moon. If, if that's, if it behooves you to do so. But I'm trying to get all the way up on the... You get the idea. We are parkour. We are doing parkour on the roof here. Right? So, there you have it. You, you can explore places that you've never seen before. Alright? So... I'm a little buggy right now, but there we go. All right. Well, he's not gonna hook any of them, so I can. Oh wait, he's hooking someone. Maybe. Is he? I don't think he is. He's probably just bringing them here. I don't think he's gonna hook them. She. I keep saying he, but it's a Julie, so it's a she. So let's check out. Um, ain't really going for me. Okay, let's let's go right here. Oh, never mind. All right. So, like I said, let's go to the lighting, which I believe is. Oh, that's wrong. I pressed F11. Uh, lighting. F12. F12 is lighting. Okay. So I want to change it to like uh, the Badham preschool with the with the purple sky, right? You know. Well, this looks a little too dark for RPD. So. Let's switch that back. We can go to something like... Let's check this. That's a whole different look, right? So there you have your lighting effects. I think we've been, we've been through everything. Um, I usually like the farm lighting. Not always, but it's usually one of the better ones. So now... Um, like I said, if I want to go to this and brighten this up, because I feel like this is kind of dark, so let's go to one, execute, and we're just a little brighter now. Killer is not hooking anyone, so I can't really... Maybe he will. Let me see if I can show anything. Let's see. If I can show anything when they get on a hook. All right, let's try this. They get hooked. They're not getting hooked. Okay, I can't really show you anything on the hooks. He just wants them doing the gen. I let him hit me because he was in... She. I let her hit me because she was in her power. I knew I was, I was just going to have to mend. Whoa, what was that? You see the killer just teleport? It looked like lag. Just go through the pallet. We just go through the wall. We just go through this. We just go through here. Now we'll just be inside the gate when they come here. I think they see the killer instinct of me inside the gate. Well, we didn't get to show anything where you can get your teammates stuck on the hook or under the hook. 
but the killer wasn't hooking anyone, so um, you can do that with O, the forced actions. Uh, let's let them hook me once the gates are open. I can show you the, um, the insta escape, assuming it works. Alright, gates are open, so let's uh, let the killer get me and hook me. We'll let them get me and hook me. Or we'll just get up in front of them if they're not hooking. <laughs> All right, we'll just go to a hook, see if she'll hook me here. So if you want to get people stuck on the hook or under the hook, don't know why you'd want to do that, but let's say they're cooperating with the killer or something and you feel like getting them stuck on, on the hook, you can use the, uh, I have it set, uh, I think default is O. And there, go ahead, put me on the hook. It's fine, you put me on the hook. Let's go. Oh, I gotta press F2 right away. And we'll see if we can insta escape and we're out. So we just disappear while on the hook. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that's, and now I'm naughty bear. That's because I pressed B at some point in the game and it switched me to killer. <laughs> the last killer I was on was naughty bear. So naughty bear escapes and there you go. Uh, we can say GG well played. Good luck next. And then we could say trolling profit at YouTube slash TikTok. And um, we could say have fun. Killers just like dot dot dot. Good guy, good game, guys. And I guess well played cheater. Glad you had fun. I was making a tutorial. All right, there you go. That's the that's the the gist of it. That is the bulk of what you can do. We are at a minute and sorry, an hour and thirty eight minutes. So with that, like I said, FMP, go there. Uh, tell them I sent you FMP.su and enjoy. And also subscribe, Trolling Profit, at YouTube, uh, TikTok, all that good stuff. And we'll see you soon. And now we're going to head into a live stream. We're just about to get this party started. Now that I'm all set up and ready to rock and roll, we're going to get viewers in here. And we're just going to have some fun. All right. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you watched all of it and got a whole lot out of it. That's the majority of it and yeah uh, there is more to it but that is that is that'll keep you busy for a while all right guys take care god bless